So I've been playing around with my Ashley Rose for um, a good three, four hours and just figuring out what I want to write about. Um, and then the honest thought came into my head about um, me as a person. I wanted to make something irrelevantly clear. If I said that word correctly, yay. <laughs> um, I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes. I have made decisions that have not have been the best. And I am a flawed character of a human being. Um, but I will not apologize for who I am. I will not let judgment of who I am and who I'm proud to be um, really stick with me nor let it resonate. Uh, I have been through a lot this past summer, believe me, of uh, there are relationships that have started, some that have ended, and people that came back into my life. and. I make no apologies for who I am as a human being. And I'm not going to start now. I had recently went through a hardship, and it, it never really left my head. It made, and it left me a paranoid person. I don't know, I guess. It left me paranoid thinking, I wonder if I'm a good friend or not, if I'm a good person. Um, second guessing every decision I make, which is not something I do, nor do I like the idea of even second guessing my thoughts at all. And I am not about to apologize for decisions I've made or um, thoughts I've had. But for me to start thinking this way, and normally I wouldn't, um, has been because of an altercation that I had twice this this past uh, couple of months. Once in the summer and a couple of weeks before the Halloween show. I will say it before and I'll say it again. I'm a flawed person, but I am good at what I do in both jobs that I do. And I am who I am. And I will never apologize for it. And if people have a problem with it, I can't really do nothing about it. But to the person that I, that I am no longer in communication with, I am not angry, because I think what happened was that both of us have changed um, in different ways, and it happens. Um, I'm growing as a person and maturing as much as I can, and it may not be the way everyone likes, but it, the way I'm working out my own life works for me. And I'm very solid in who I am, and I know myself. I don't like to hurt anybody. Believe me when I say I try to make everyone happy, and I try to be there for everybody. And sometimes it doesn't work out. And if I have caused hurt, I am deeply sorry for that. Because that has never been my intention, nor has it been a thing for me to cause malice or be malicious to somebody, or cause hurt or intent of hurt to anybody, because I don't believe in that. I have been treated shitly my whole life, and I'm not, a, I'm not about to start to treat anyone else the same. Whether this person believes my words or not, because I have a feeling the video is, the, w once this video is posted and I'm going to post it, I'm not going to be afraid of it, they have the choice and the right not to believe my word. And that's their right. And I'm not going to be mad at it. At some point, you have to let go. And whether I want to or not, after years of, of, of knowing the person, it, sometimes you have to do it. Um, I do not like how things ended. Because it's, it's still sticking with me now, and it's fairly recent. Um, and I don't like, and I don't like to lose anyone in my life. I mean, 
when me and Kira stopped being friends, that was just a hole in my fucking heart. And I still think about her a lot to this day. And this girl, Nicole, and I had been friends since high school. And that was another hole to the heart. And this, again, is another hole to my heart. And it's kind of like grieving death, in a way. And a breakup, all in one. And, and, and it's, it's... I'm a constant reminder of the decisions I make in my life. And like I said, I won't apologize for who I am. I am proud of the woman I am. And I'm proud of what I've been through the past 31 years of my life. And I've managed to make it living with a mental disease and disorder and living with a bunch of bullshit and toxicity in my life. And I somehow managed to get through it through really a lot of it the last couple of months has been this thing and you guys and the Libra Friend Nation and working for Strange and that is my life you can take it or leave it however you want and for anyone going through hardship on this fucking matter know that it's 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 gonna hurt for a shit ton of a while, but it will get better, and you'll learn to separate, and you'll learn to deal, and you'll learn to say, okay, maybe it's not so bad. I'm still in the process of figuring out if it's not so bad or not, and I'll get through my own paranoia, but I will say this. I am never going to apologize standing up for myself or being happy or having the chosen people around my life that I've chosen to input into my life. I will always try to meet new people. I will always try to be friendly to anyone and anyone that needs a friend and be there for them because that's the right thing to do. Again, for any hurt that I have caused, I'm sorry. But I will never apologize for being me.